Welcome to the most must listen to show on the internet. Welcome to AEG. I am your host, JB, and this week I have Dalton with me. What's up, everybody? I have Marlon. Live from Miami, dealing with Stupid Dorian. Hi, everybody. So, <laughs> what can I tell you? <laughs> and our very special guest, Jaded Mermaid. Oh, hi. Hi, hi. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> hi. Hello, dear. How's everybody doing tonight? Hello there. Um, good. Right, uh, oh, good. Good. That I'm was good. We good burned energy. up all of our enthusiasm talking before the show. Right? And, and Marlon's just down there trying to what, what the hell's wrong? Yeah. Yeah. seeing that the hurricane's not coming, but he's just in denial. It's, uh, <laughs> well, considering it's, like, stalled over the Bahamas, like... Good. Uh, let me yeah. tell you something about this this stupid Dorian. <laughs> it's... When we saw it coming, and I thought, okay, it's going to be sitting to the Bahamas, you know, it's okay. A one mile per hour... Just, just, just basically, it's just walking there. It's just literally just, you know what? I'm going to have a vacation <laughs> to the Bahamas. I'm going to plop myself right here. And I'm just going to make sure everybody just sees that I'm just having fun right now in the Bahamas. Just taking a cocktail. Yeah, um, yeah like, literally oh, when man. I go on a walk. Literally when I go on a walk, I go at three miles an hour. So I'm going three times as fast as... <laughs> as, as, as <laughs> Kerry <Kerry-Gurry> got five. <laughs> Lord... <laughs> Taking a leash See, the, down the beach, I'll tell you that. But, We're already off the rails in this episode. Like, it's so okay, just, it's fine. Everything's fine. I mean, that's <laughs> how we roll. That's just how we do it. But anyways, tonight's episode tonight's episode is going to be focused on our special guest, uh, Jaded Mermaid. Um, kind of, again, getting into like how she became and how she got into streaming, uh, how she's a sponsor now, how she gets sponsored, uh, some of her favorites, maybe favorite game, favorite gaming system, stuff like that, and then a little bit more about her and what she does and what she streams and et cetera, et cetera. So tell us, how did you get into streaming? All right. Going right in. Got it. Jumping in. Okay. Yes. So <laughs> I actually, oh. so I'm 20. I'm 25. Um, I started streaming at the end of my undergrad degree. So, who played Destiny One? Any of you guys? All of us. Yes. All of us. All of us. All my of family. Us. Yes. Okay. So I'll go ahead and tell you. That's <laughs> probably like my all-time favorite game because it got me into. Well, on console, on console, all-time favorite game overall. Got to be Mario Brothers, man. No. Whoa. 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 All right. <laughs> Just keep going. All right, we're on the clock. Uh, <laughs> Hurry up. No. <laughs> no, I, I got into streaming because, do y'all remember, um, for Destiny 1, there was a Twitch emblem that came out. And if you streamed a certain amount of hours, you got the Twitch emblem for your character. Do y'all remember that? Do y'all know yep. about that? Yep. Okay. Oh, that no, is no, why yeah. I started streaming. So thank Bungie, okay? Say thank you to Bungie. That's why well, I'm here. Is the reason we have Jaded Mermaid. Yeah, it really is. Um, and actually, it really, really is because I didn't have a console. My husband had a console, and he had an Xbox, and he started playing Destiny 1. I was like, oh, my God, that looks so cool. And so then I'd come home from work, and I'd play, and then he'd want to play. And I was like, no, I'm not done yet. I have another mission or whatever, you know. So it's like, all right, this isn't working anymore. So I got my own, and <laughs> I started – I started streaming, and I accidentally got affiliated on Twitch. Yes, you heard me, accidentally. I didn't know there was, like, a monetization program. I was a complete Twitch noob. I just wanted the emblem, man. And I check my email, like, a year later, and it's like, oh, welcome to the affiliate program. And I was like, what is this? And so then I had some friends that I told them. They were like, oh, my God, you know, get a face cam. Try it for real. And I was like, well, it's entertainment. I've always I've been a musician since I was eight. I've been performing since I was nine. So I love entertainment. I was like, well, why not? We'll give it a shot. And um, I just fell in love with it. And all of my friends that I play games with come hang out. I meet new friends to game with. So it's just, it was all around a great experience. And I absolutely loved it. Um, Enough so that when I got sponsored, which I'll tell you more about that. But when I got sponsored, I quit my teaching job to do this full time. That's how much I love this. That is awesome, and that's that's something that like that I think awesome. all ga- anyone who streams on Twitch or anywhere that's what they want to do, right? That's their end goal. And, like nobody goes into it saying like I hope nobody watches my stuff, <laughs> right? So right. That, that's so awesome that that happened for you. And it's it's even cooler to us, especially I think I can speak for these guys when you you did it through Destiny because we were so into Destiny. We played on the PS4, but oh okay, 
I have um, a yeah. PS4 now as well, so we'll have to all out each other and play sometime. Absolutely. I have both. Sounds good. My sponsor was like, if you're going to be a pro gamer, a pro streamer, you got to have both consoles. I was like, all right, got it. <laughs> Hopefully they bought it for you then. <laughs> yeah, they did. They sent it. They actually sent me two. Funny story. He bought me two. He didn't mean to. Didn't even realize that he had purchased me two. And I called him and I'm like, yo, Eric, did you mean to get me two PS4 Pros? And he was like, um, no. Not really. I was like, okay. So, you know, I sent it back and got him refunded. But, yeah, they, they definitely paid for it. <laughs> that is awesome, though. So That's do you exactly play awesome. – do you still play Destiny at all? Like, do you play Destiny 2 at all? Or did you I, kind of, like, us fall off the map? Okay. That, that's on them. That's on them. <laughs> Y'all are that, trying to make me cry on this episode. That's on them. <laughs> um, so I was, like, a hardcore trials kid. <clears throat> so, oh. like, I think I have over 2,000 flawlesses. It's ridiculous. Like, that's all I did was trials, trials, trials. I would play, like, it was only out for three days. I would grind at least 36 hours worth of trials every weekend. At least. At least. Wow. That is insane. And okay, that's good. That's good. So, well, see, once Destiny 2 dropped, trials came out. It was okay for, like, the first month. And then it, yeah. Yeah, and then it really started to hurt my soul even more. And I just had to keep Destiny preserved in my mind as something great. And I had to stop playing it. <laughs> Makes sense. That's fair. Makes sense. <laughs> kind of, I think yeah. that's you know, what we were all... I, I do occasionally hop on with some of my, like, OG friends and play comp, you know, um, or quick play. But very rarely because... You, you know how many people still DDoS in Destiny, man? It's oh, yeah. ridiculous. Oh, like, yeah. no one's on that game and you're still DDoSing people? Come on. <laughs> that's so awesome like i i we could do a whole episode i didn't know you played destiny like that because we oh, could yeah. do a whole episode talking about destiny one we've done it before so Follow up episode we pretty much have we, we we're gonna have to do one we should we should totally <laughs> schedule that for the future because i think Funny, we like all nostal- have a passion. like just like a nostalgia trip episode we all talk about Destiny. are y'all one. gonna play the new dlc that's coming out is it shadow keep is that is that what it is? See, yeah. see that guy I'm right there? The <laughs> it. I'm doing it. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> so wait, have. wait, wait. Mar- Marlon's Marlon, way on. Marlon, is it true? Do you know? I don't want to perpetuate rumors or anything, but is it true that everything in your vault is going to be brought up to 750 light with the new DLC? Yes. <gasps> okay, see, I might play again. It might. Oh, happen. shit. I didn't know. <laughs> okay, I might yeah, play it again. So, everything that you have in your vault, everything that you have, everything. Thing that you weapons it's gonna be 750 because they're gonna bump up the light level so you want to just boost everybody up to be able to enjoy shadow keep at once which is for me yeah. i'm okay with that that sounds awesome well it's a, it's honestly the only reason i'm gonna get back into destiny and see i divvy up my games um in between depending on what platform i stream on so like on mixer i do black ops for primarily when gears 5 drops on Friday, I'll be streaming that exclusively to Mixer. And then Twitch gets Fortnite, Apex, and all com- competitive games. But I've been considering, because the Destiny community still exists on Twitch. It's not huge, Uh-oh. but it still exists. I thought about targeting that audience with the new update coming out. And I would actually do that. If it meant I didn't have to grind for 50 freaking hours to get my light level up on my Titan. <laughs> you know, like, hell yeah, I'll play the game. At least for a little while, you know. Just ride that wave of just people playing Shadow Keep, which is to me honestly, it's fine. Um, if, if Gustavo was here, he'd be playing. Oh my gosh, he plays Gears Five. He'd be going all bonkers right now. You know, oh for a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so he, yeah, you you said the magic words, and he would have like lost his like yeah, shit. If, if so. Gustavo was on this episode. <laughs> and then we've got uh, Modern Warfare coming out on the 19th. Well, the beta, anyway. And I'll be playing the beta on yeah. Mixer. So it's I do packed. all of all COD um, franchise on Mixer. September's okay. packed, man. September okay. is absolutely packed. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and Borderlands, yeah, Borderlands 3 is coming out, too. Yep, that's yeah. that's and, my big one for, for September. We just gave away yet? a copy. <laughs> Have you What's that? Have you already? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Dang it. <laughs> we just gave away a copy of Black, uh, Borderlands on 3, PS4. like, right. what, two days ago, guys? Yeah. Yeah, we just gave away yeah, the a Super Deluxe ago. Edition. So, anybody else that has it pre-ordered, and if you don't have an Epic content creator to support, you can use my code IJADED, and Epic is, but has bumped the, um, because Borderlands is an Epic game, which, or mm-hmm. it's, it's awesome, right? Mm-hmm. And they have bumped mm-hmm. the creator codes over to Game 
cells as well. So I thought that was pretty cool. And that's another reason uh, and way that I've been able to go full time is by pulling in, taking advantage of any little thing that allows me to monetize. And it doesn't cost my viewers. It doesn't cost my friends any money to use to type in code. I jaded. It doesn't cost them anything, but they pay. But Epic pays me. Little things like that. I, I also partnered with something called Pixels Gaming. They send me a free game and then they pay me like, you know, a little bit to stream the game for two hours and the devs come in and watch me stream the game. I pretty much test indie games. Basically, um, I'm a hustler, basically. But that, hey, yeah, That's yeah. Cool. Anything you can, you know, get and it may not be the, the biggest, but hell, I get a free game and I get enough to take me and my hubby out to Dinden. <laughs> yeah. Know? And then, <laughs> and then, wrong there, with that. then my main sponsorships, um, in all honesty, the majority of those went to paying off my stream setup, which totals close to ten thousand dollars. Oh my god! Yeah, it, it, gets, it gets expensive. <laughs> it I've really seen does. pictures of it. It's it really pretty does. damn impressive. It's that's my dream that's setup. Intense. I spend eight to fourteen hours a day in this room in this chair, so I've got to love where I'm at, you know, and I, I, I've made it kind of my space. I've got the Philips Hue lights too. So like that side's like seafoam green. And then here's like a <laughs> blue and then over there's like purple. And I'm just like, yeah, it feels so good. Here. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was actually kind of leads right into one of the topics I, I wanted to kind of go like talk about with you is I don't think a lot of people realize what goes into full-time streaming, how much, how much time and effort goes into that. Like you got to get burned out sometimes, right? Like, there's got to be sometimes you're like, man, I, I, I don't fucking feel like streaming today. Like, does that ever happen? Or I have occasional days where I'm like, man, I hope I can, I hope I'm on, I hope I can be on it today because I'll wake up and I'll be lagging. I'm saying lagging. I'm obviously a gamer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, you know, just just a little slow getting getting my stuff together. Um, and I'll be like, dang it, man. I, I'll worry about not providing good content more than I don't want to stream because I always want to interact with my community. I love my community. Um, but sometimes it's like, man, I hope I don't let them down because sometimes I don't right. feel up to being, what's up, guys? Thank you for that follow. Y'all yeet all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's, it's exhausting. <laughs> It's, it's kind of, yeah. yeah. And, and especially because I stream. So I wake up at about 930. I eat some breakfast. I do some Pilates. I play with my dogs for a little while, let them exercise. Um, I'll shower, get ready, and I stream by 11 on Mixer. And then on Mixer, I stream from 11 to either 3 or 4 o'clock. I, if I get off at 3, I have about an hour break before I do my cam frog chat. So I do gaming on Mixer and Twitch. I don't do just chatting on Mixer and Twitch. I feel like I just I like that. for I like those platforms for gaming. Um so I do my just chatting on, it's a chatting app is what it is. And they actually pay me to stream. And so like during those two hours from like four to six o'clock, I'll do video edits. I'll do website edits. I'll answer emails, whatever I'm doing. And I'll kind of just chat with them. And I get paid to do that. Um, I'm oh, sponsored yeah. to just talk to them, which is awesome. And then at six o'clock, I start my Twitch stream and I stream at least until 10, if not like midnight. So I'm streaming for four to five hours. Plus two hours, plus four to six hours a day. See, yeah, and that's what people don't realize. Everyone's like, oh, I want to be a full-time gamer. I want to be, like, they think you're, like, living this dream life, which you kind of are, but, like, in a way, like, like there's it's a work. lot that goes into it's it. It's a yeah. job. I work, Full-time job. I work 10 to 14 hours a day easy. Right. And, and, and then being part of my job, being a social media influencer, right? Like, I, I get people that send me... I'm a I'm officially an Instagram model and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> They're sending me free clothes to wear and then they pay me for the posts. I'm uh, I'm a paid Instagram model and like I said it kind of felt a little weird at first. I need but, to get into that. So, hey dude, <laughs> repping gear is like one of the easiest things to do, but now you do have to you have to be consistent. That's the biggest thing. People are like, "Oh, I'm going to build my channel through my social media or whatever. Well, your consistency on any on any end is key. Um, social media, live streams, in y'all's case, podcasts, you know, whatever content you're creating. If you you go silent for radio silent for two weeks, people will forget you. Yep, they will forget you. 
just like that. Yeah. Doesn't matter if, like, for me, I've got 175,000 followers on Camfrog. I've got 3,500 on Twitch. I've got 500 on Mixer. I've got almost 15K on Instagram. I have almost 200,000 followers right now. And I promise you, if I didn't post something for two weeks, when I came back, half of them would not engage with any of my content. Right. It just doesn't matter. You doesn't matter. On, you got to keep it on that wheel. You Otherwise... have to stay relevant. If you don't stay relevant, people will move on to the next person. Because there are plenty of people trying to do exactly what you're doing right now. And right. what I'm doing right That's now. Scary. That's scary that it's that simple for something like that to fall apart. What if you get in a wreck? What if you're hospital right. for two weeks? Right. Now? Like... There's you so almost many, gotta try to like, milk that Life somehow. could intervene, <laughs> like, and you would just not have it. Like, yeah. like you gotta try to like milk your hospitalization, right? You gotta like take yeah, selfies I mean, in the hospital bed I with mean, your leg up real, in the air. Like, you gotta, you gotta keep creating content, right. even if it's like laid up in the bed, like my legs. Up. <laughs> <laughs> you better post something. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah, that's true. And then like. I've caught like quite a few of your streams. Like I try to jump in whenever I can. I I, I have a ton see of time. you. And I appreciate yeah. you so much. Yeah, I was but I you, was watching some I was watching some replays on Mixer earlier today, actually. Oh yeah. Of you playing Call of Duty, so yeah, I try to get in there and like interact oh, and stuff as much you. as I can. And uh, you maintain such a high level of energy, and I I don't think like I know I don't have what it takes to be a full time streamer. That's why we're hoping this podcast Thanks. thing works out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that on. is not <laughs> cocaine. That is no, no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess the people in the podcast can't anything um it's power on this is actually a miami company <laughs> marlon down there's killing there you me. go marlon all right Mar <laughs> marlon this is a miami-based company uh um, but anyway it's vitamin b and 150 milligrams of caffeine which is the same as a cup of coffee <laughs> you, you so have, uh, you, this you is what money. i start my day off with that's awesome okay. the thing that gets me that is <laughs> You don't understand. It's in the cocaine. gym, that's what they call it, okay? That's it's cocaine? Yeah. Oh, they call it cocaine? She doesn't I even mean, mix it with water or anything. She just puts Miami. it on the table. Just snort it. <laughs> yeah. Does a line. What you do before a wow. Oh, yeah, there you god. go. Oh, oh my god, you have no idea. I was like... So was Power on, on, it doesn't burn going down. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I'm dead. Oh, Lord, I hate you. <laughs> That's, <laughs> <great>. <laughs> That's awesome. Me, like, like, we'll definitely, like, at the end, like, if you, if you want, we'll definitely allow you to plug all your sponsors and all that stuff, too, oh. so they can... Plug away. That's, but... You might have just, is... might have just found a, just uh, found honest... a good title. No, that's uh, honest with you guys, it's not cocaine. Hashtag it's, it's not, not cocaine. cocaine. Or, or, or it doesn't burn them, going down. I like that better. better let them actually. know if they use that slogan. We want a cut of that because that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about Thank the cocaine, not, not, not the money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, it's gone down the rails big time. I'm dying. Oh, yeah. I'm dying. Lord. All right. Woo. All right. So anyway, a lot goes into full time gaming, and <laughs> a lot of not only are you and a, big, and a big help for you was how you got sponsored. Tell us how you got sponsored. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. We're getting there. We're all over the place, guys. Um, so we're you know, not usually this bad, but it's it, we're having a good no, time. No, no, no. Okay, this is fun. That's all that matters, yeah. right? Okay, so right. Um, my my sponsor, my official sponsor, Pro Esports Gaming. They, the CEO actually found me on Instagram and came into one of my Twitch streams and donated. And I do a thing. I'm, I'm also a musician. If I get donos, I'll tend to be like, hey, if you want a song, just let me know. I'll grab my guitar or mandolin and I'll sing a song. And um, I used to do this a lot more <laughs> until a lot of people came. Because I used to sing for biddies on Twitch. And people would come in and like bits, 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 bits. And I'd be hoarse by the end of the night. So I was like, all right, guys, we got to do this for like donos only now at this point. Um, I'm actually doing like a subathon with it. But anyway, he loved the way that I interacted with the chat. And he was like, oh, you're great. I would like to have, you know, sit down and do a business call with you sometime. And I was like, I checked out the site, looked real legit. I was like, okay, I'll take the call. It was supposed to be like a 15, 10, 15 minute call. I ended up being on the phone with the CEO for like two hours. We really hit it off. I loved the ideas that they're moving. The website is still in beta right now, uh, proesportsgaming.com, but a lot of it still already is already up and working. So I host live lobbies. 
um, and it allows me to make money off video games outside of my monthly sponsorship. Like, I, it's kind of like tips and stuff. Um, and then he also has it done so that the streamers on there can get subscriptions without it taking a cut. So, like, Twitch, when I get a sub, the sub's $5. I only receive $2.50. I receive 50%. Okay. Twitch keeps 50%. On Pro Esports Gaming, I keep 100% of that $5. You come and drop me a $5 sub for that month, I keep all of it. So that really, that just alone, getting some of my subs to move over to Pro Esports Gaming from Twitch helped me because I'm keeping 100% of my sub. I'm not having to split 50% of it with a streaming platform, uh, which is amazing. And then the live lobby thing, so it's like I can host any game, Destiny. I can do whatever I want. And I can say last man standing or highest kills. So when I do Apex, it's highest damage because I, I had people taking my kills after I did like 100 damage into them. They get the last like little bit of shield. And I was like, no, this ain't going to work. Like and <laughs> because... You can you can change it to whatever you want it to be. So I do like highest damage. I also host cash customs every Thursday night um, on the website, and it's just twenty five cents to play. So you fill up like a like just like an arcade card, and you pay twenty five cents per game. But winner takes all. So if we've got twenty people, the winner takes away five dollars at the end of each game, right? So it it allows me to make money through actual games. It's betting. You have to be eighteen. It is betting. Um, <clears throat> But that has allowed me to make some, as well as tournaments. Like, we have some high roller tournaments where it's $50 a player buy-in. And, you know, you've got a team of three. That's 150 per team. You've got a few teams. It, it adds up really quickly, and it's winner take all. Right. And um, and that also helps. So I, I actually got into the website specifically because he was like, hey, um, we – you know, we need you to use the website. That's what I want you to do. I was like, okay, I'll figure it out. And then I was like, oh, crap. I can actually make money off the website in addition to what he's paying me. And so, like I said, paying attention to all the little things. Anywhere I can make 50 bucks, I'll do it. You know, like, as long as it's something that I can get behind. I can't tell you how many brands have hit me up trying to get me to promote their stuff. And, like, they'll send it to me and I'll test it out and it's crap. Well, I'm not going to post that. Um, I've gotten people that wanted to pay me like 200 a month to post their, their clothing. And it was crap clothing. Like the seams would come out after you washed it once, you know, it's like, no, I'm not going to do that. Like, yeah, they offered me money, but at the same time, right. you also have to, you have to watch out for your brand. Cause if you start telling people, Hey, this is good. Trust me. And it's shit. People yeah. aren't going to listen <laughs> to what you have to say, yeah. you know, right. so you do have to be careful. I always pay attention to the details and some people don't do that and they end up screwing themselves over in the long run so a well, little bit funny. of advice as well you know <laughs> it's funny that you bring that up because i think uh, marlon jeff and goose and i on the last episode were talking about just that with uh if we're gonna sell out we will we will sell out don't get me wrong but you got to pay us a lot of money like we're not gonna we're not gonna sell out and promote this crap for nothing like like you said they, they were gonna pay you 200 bucks a month that's nothing you know what i mean 200 bucks enough is not enough to ruin your brand, right? Exactly, so. exactly. <laughs> not enough to compromise your integrity. And honestly, right. I I was, I, let's go back. Like I said, I was a musician. I was offered a $10 million contract by Sony Records when I was 14. And it was a 10-year contract. And I said no, because the fine print said that, number one, they could make me dress the way they wanted me to dress. And I didn't want to be some little slut, pretty much. So I was like, no, mm -hmm. I'm good. And then they were like, oh, and then when you go to interviews, we can tell you what to not say and what to say. And I'm kind of like, mm, OK, I guess I kind of see where that can be a thing. But me. and then the third and final straw was that they could change the lyrics to my songs. And I'm, I'm a BMI registered songwriter. Uh, my songs are published. You're not changing my songs. You're not touching my songs. And it, that was a $10 million contract. And that still wasn't worth my integrity. So it really comes down to your personal value. as That well. is amazing. You were like almost that Taylor Swift. <laughs> that's who I didn't want to be. Stop it. Right. That's that's why I said that. <laughs> but that's Sorry, that's pretty amazing. Sorry, Taylor Swift. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> that's pretty amazing though. I don't know yeah. if I have what it takes to turn down ten million dollars. I I don't know if I do. I'd have I to see if I was. Me for ten years though, and yeah, I thought no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. Then again, I'm not talented. Yeah, when so you I, really think about I, it, I got I got to take right. ten million dollars no. when it's offered. <laughs> 
But that's that's incredible. Like we obviously heard a little bit of your singing before the show started, and I was pretty fucking shocked, to be honest with you. Like, not that I didn't think you could sing, but <laughs> you ever thought about going on American Idol or something like that? <clears throat> Funny story. Uh oh. <laughs> it always starts like that, doesn't it? Funny story about that. <laughs> So, I actually tried out for the X Factor. Y'all know what that is, right? Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. And the judges at the end of my audition told me that I had no room to improve. And I did not make it. Wow. Oh, I see. Okay. Gotcha. Now, now I get what you're Like, you were, like, it was so good that they <laughs> didn't, been, like, there wasn't any. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go No, ahead. like, basically, they said that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they said that um, basically you have nowhere to go. So like the whole point of the show is to make people that are pretty good and make them the best that they can be. You're already hit the best you can be. So there's no, there wouldn't be a show basically for and you. Any- yeah. And I don't say that in like a, a conceited way at all. Like I, I just have right. had professional training. That's really what it comes down to. My vocal coach is the same vocal coach as for Christina Aguilera and a bunch of other people that are amazing. So, yeah. you know, I've been professionally trained. I've, trained in Nashville. I've performed in front of 5,000 people. I've performed on, y'all probably don't know what it is, but the Louisiana Hayride. Mm-hmm. I've heard of it. Don't know what that is? Hell I yeah. Have. All right. I've heard so of I it. play like bluegrass and folk music and I, I traveled like the bluegrass circuit when I was younger. So I've, I've been in the game since I was like 10. Okay. Like I traveled, I, I went, I did an international tour. International was Canada and America. Okay. <laughs> but okay. I did. Yeah. When I was 13 and we played like 20 shows in a month, it was nuts. And so I've already been there. I've already, I've done newspaper interviews. I've, done, I've never done a podcast interview, though, guys. Y'all have gotten my first ever podcast interview. I'm pretty I've excited about that. It makes us feel pretty good. That is, Go that us. Pretty good. So, oh um, but yeah, so I've just been around it for a while. I've already, you know, I've had a lot of experience. I've been professionally trained, so... It was kind of like, mm, you know, you'll go out there day one and still sound the same day 50 or whatever, you know. So I get it. I get it. But it's good. I was a little We're... miffed at first, all right? I so... was like, really? <laughs> like, oh, I'm yeah. being punished? That's, but, yeah. that's incredible, though. Like like I said, I you're, you're probably better than we are. Cause, like, I don't know if – I can't speak for these guys, but I don't know if I could turn down $10 million. Um, but <laughs> that's impressive. Like, you've obviously got talent and – uh I guess, like, the last question I kind of want to ask you on this topic is, like, say, like, you did get offered, like, a big singing contract, and, like, would you would you go that route, like, now? Like, now that you got all this other stuff going on for you, like, would you would you hang all that up and go sing, or? I mean, I can do it all. <laughs> Hell yeah! Chicken that's, there. That's, a, that's a hustler for you, brother. That's, that's a the attitude for you. to have right there. It's <laughs> a hustler for you, man. So, I do live performances still, as well as live stream and model, so, I, you know, why not? That's that's cool as hell. So so let me so ask you. You can tie this. it all into the same brand too. Yeah, it works, I do. You know? so I actually created an I created an LLC that lumps all of my creative faucets under one thing. So there, very you, cool. you basically just answered my question. <laughs> um, yes. So let me ask I'm, you. This. I'm actually a company, Jaded Mermaid and Company. Woo! <laughs> I'm legit. <laughs> yeah, I, that was another thing I kind of wanted to go in with you at some point. Yes, I have episode. trademarks too. Yes, yes, Go yes. ahead, Marlon. What did you want to ask? So, what made you get into the mandolin? Like, that's 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 for me one of the instruments that I go. Chris hmm. Steely. Chris Steely. Really? Yes. <laughs> My God, you went for okay. That's fine. It's because I basically was uh, back in high school. I just played a lot of instruments, and for me, there was always this guy playing the mandolin. I'm like, why are you playing that? And he says, I just like it. <laughs> I I do, I like it. I also, I have Celtic roots um, in my, like, lineage. Obviously, I'm hello white. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, I love the mandolin because it's 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 more of a Celtic instrument a lot of the time. And I I played uh, something called Celtic Fest that we do here in Mississippi. And um, it's just, it's such a pretty instrument. I, I love it. I started off on guitar when I was eight. And by the time I was 12, I was like, all right, I want something else. Now I'm teaching myself the ukulele, but, you know. That's awesome. 
I, I, I can't play the ukulele. Uh, too big. Okay, I played trombone. It's weird. It's weird. It's because that that I top, played I played alto saxophone. Is, is weird. It, it, it's 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 in the it's wrong like, place. I, <laughs> okay, here's the thing for me. I tried the ukulele like a, a couple years back. Coming. Somebody gave it to me and I was like, try it out. And I'm like, I'm look like I feel like a freaking T-Rex with this thing. I'm like. <laughs> Why is this thing like this? No, no, okay, no. Wait, wait, take wait, it. wait, 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 wait. Wait. All right, you need to go look up some like good old bluegrass boys picking on a mandolin because these guys are massive, all right? They are cornbread fed men playing this <laughs> tiny, tiny instrument. Like... And it is hilarious. You know, that's actually one of the reasons I was like, I noticed the mandolin. I was like, oh, it's small like me. <laughs> I was like, oh, I like that. And that's one of the reasons I genuinely was like, I, I, I want to I wanna try that out. And then I loved the way it sounded. So I was like, yes. hey, That's happy. awesome. Yeah, that is. <laughs> I can't do it. Like I said, I wasn't <laughs> expecting to have this many topics tonight. Like, we, we I was expecting was like, to come in here. Out. We're okay, all he over the place. freaking out. I was like, oh, my God. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm going to look like an idiot against this guy. You really yeah. did. Oh, y'all are good. Y'all are chill. I'm yeah, like, I never get nervous for, like, an episode. But you can ask these guys. I was posting in our Discord. I'm like, guys, I'm fuck, I'm nervous for this one. Like, I'm going to botch this whole <laughs> oh, you're episode. You're good. You're good. And it's, rocking it. Yeah, but. <laughs> sort of God. Oh my god! So, so anyway, the, the pro side of things, shifting, real quick. Yeah, yeah I want to talk about that a little back bit. To gaming. Go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I, I just wanted to ask you, like, because you're you're full time now, so you obviously have your your work cut out for you just in that alone. But you're also a pro gamer, so I like you do tournaments and stuff all the time. So you're like. I'm sure you're like contractually obligated to do some of that stuff now, right? Like they, they want you to appear at some of these events and stuff or. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm definitely expected to do a lot of things now at the same time. Uh, I was the first female streamer sponsored um, and pro esports gaming's CEO. And I like, we got to know each other enough that like, I was like, I'm invested in this. I'm willing to help the site grow he's willing to when i say hey i want this button he's willing to call the devs over in china and get us on a call and us stay up until 4 a.m so that we're talking to the china china department about you know fixing this fixing this and we're actively he's willing to work with me so we actually have a verbal contract right now um but i am i'm expected to represent um our company um in pretty much all that i do but specifically tournaments you know if, if i can if i can get if i have the game and i can do it i compete regardless i i don't do the madden tournaments sorry guys i'm not a football fan right i like a lot of things but i'm not really. unless it's live at the at the stadium like i don't it football just doesn't hold my attention and i know it's football season for all you college fans so i'm sorry um no yeah. no you're good yeah <laughs> So, um, I pretty much do every single game besides, like, Madden. Um, I've never played poker before in my life, and this past week we had a poker tournament. I actually made it to the final table. <laughs> oh, It was yeah. so much fun, though. And so I've actually got, um, most weeks we do tournaments Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, this week... I just have a tournament Sunday. Yes, I have a book. I have, <laughs> I have a very detailed daily... A Agenda, weekly basically. plan, yes. Because if not, I forget everything. So, like, tonight we have the interview. Um, tomorrow I'm doing a team-up. The next day, Wednesday, I'm doing a, um indie game test where the devs are going to come watch me stream. Thursday, I'm doing a co-host with a Twitch partner. Um, we're going to be doing cash customs on Pro Esports Gaming using the site, getting people involved in the site. Um, Friday, we have Gears 5 drop, so that'll be – I'll do a special event with that. Um, and then Saturday I'm doing, it's September on Twitch, so I'm doing a subathon. We're going to be playing Fortnite. I'm going to be hosting Customs because I'm an epic content creator. Everybody freaking loves Customs. It's actually a lot of fun. Um, and then Sunday we have the tournament. But most weeks we do, I do at least Jeez. two tournaments. September. Really? <laughs> That's how they're calling it now. September. September. Okay. September on <laughs> Twitch. So the way that they're doing is, is it, I think it costs half of what it normally costs, but the, the, Co the content creator, the streamer, still gets their half. So pretty much, the if you're gifting subs in someone's channel, 
you can gift someone a sub for 250 and instead of me only receiving half still i just receive all of that so pretty much twitch what they're doing this month is they're foregoing any revenue off of subs gotcha. uh, but awesome. it's also being sponsored by subway so there's more to that they you know they've partnered with oh okay mm -hmm. that, that, that's yes. what the sub comes from i'm guessing i'm not a <laughs> hater like marlon i didn't have and a problem with it. subscribers you know so both it's a double up there yeah they're cute well, they're clever both on tondo yeah I'm, I'm, not a, I, I'm, I'm not a hater okay I just their marketing know. team at work right there it, i mean it really is though it really is. Yeah, that's that's another thing too. Like I uh, like I, I think I was watching you play Black Op Black Ops the other day on uh, Mixer, and uh, I've watched you play Fortnite, Apex, and Black Ops. Those are the only three games I've seen you play. But those are my main games. But it was amazing, like how you can be good at all three of those games. I don't understand that. Like I play I, I'm all gonna be... time. I play all day long. What do you mean? Just quit right. your job and game all day, and I promise you can be as good as me. <laughs> There's got to be like some kind of Follow fallback your dreams. to switch between Follow games, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you play Fortnite, like for a while, you're gonna go play Apex, and you're gonna suck for a couple games, right? Like, is that how that works? So you just like yeah, no, no, no. It it take okay for the most part. If I'm swapping to Fortnite, it only takes me a couple games. But that's because when I quit playing Destiny 2, that's the game that I mained. From the end of Season 1 on Fortnite through Season 7, that is literally the only game I streamed. The only game. And that is one way that I built my community as fast as I did, as I latched on to a very popular game yep. and then was consistent as hell with it. Everybody knew at 6 o'clock Central Standard Time, I can click on Jaded Mermaid's name and it will be Fortnite, you know? Yeah. And right. now I'm, I, I have changed my brand up a little bit. Once I got sponsored, I couldn't do that anymore. I can't do that because we don't do just Fortnite games. I'm not on a Fortnite organization team. I'm on a pro streaming team. I'm on yeah. a pro esports team for sh streaming in general. So I've got to be able to do it all, um, right. which does put more pressure on me. But it just means that I, I play more every day. Now, when I swap to Apex, it takes me probably 30 minutes to find my thumbs all right i still try to like oh and then when i'll play black ops for like six hours and then swap to apex or fortnite or the other night i was on aa it was last night i was on aa after i've been on black ops all day and i tried to stem shot and i threw a grenade at my teammate i was like, Crap. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that's not yeah, it's uh, not uh, black uh, ops i'm sorry i didn't but, mean it no no i know that i know that feeling because that's happened to me because for me uh my way of playing is that i I play a lot of Destiny, but I use also I am a Dark Souls player, so the movements and the button combinations that you play for Dark Souls are totally different from Destiny. So I'll be playing Dark Souls for three, four hours, then play Destiny. I'm like, why am I not running? Yep. Why am I not doing this? Yep. And I, it, it takes a while. It takes an hour. <laughs> it just, or when I'm in Apex and I'm like, auto run, damn it. Oh, wait. <laughs> that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Or I'm in Black Ops and I'm like, ping, 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 that's a grenade. Ping it. <laughs> and you gotta wait for the ability to load up. Like, oh my god. There's like a game or two where it's like, oh god, I have to retrain my thumbs, you know, like. Right. But yeah. <laughs> like, that's too funny. That was a. Uh... That was another topic because uh, this was kind of big when Apex first came out. You saw a lot of streamers online like relieved, right? Because all they've been playing was Fortnite. Yeah. Fortnite, I, Fortnite, Fortnite. I dropped Fortnite like a hot potato day one of Apex drop and was on Apex for until season two drops, and then season two dropped and I was like meh, and all these cash cups started back up again, and that kid won three million dollars on Fortnite, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, I'm getting back into this shit, man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. I recently started streaming Fortnite more, but um, yeah, I, I did. I dropped it real quick for Apex, and I do I prefer the gameplay of Apex to the Fortnite gameplay. But Fortnite has this up on everybody: cross plat, cross yeah. plat. I can play with anybody in my stream. It doesn't matter if you're on freaking mobile. I can play with you. And so right. that really extended my reach and my community building's ability um, a lot. So that's honestly why I mained Fortnite as much as I did. Because I hate building. I've been on it since season one, and I'm still a low ground warrior. I'm going to pickaxe your builds and make you fall. I'm not going to – I'm not – you think I'm coming up there? Hell no. Nah, you come nah, down. Nah, she, she plays with a gopher. They are, no, I'm going to pick everything out, and I'm going to get down to my level. Okay. Yeah, I, I specifically carry grenades. For those bot the builders. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they're not to kill you. They're to, they're to make you fall. Not doing it to me, bro. 
I'll box up, and that's the only building you'll see me do. <laughs> box. <laughs> That's, that's it. awesome. That's that's oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> now, like, like obviously you're 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 heavy into competitive gaming. Um, are there any like single player games like that you want to play on stream or that you're? I obviously got Gears Five coming out, but are you going to do the single player campaign on stream or are you going to just? I probably won't even play it unless it's necessary to my light level type thing like if it's something i can level up to let me allow me to get more gear i've never played gears franchise either i'm gonna be a complete noob but i saw the trailers and i saw they have like control multiplayer i was like oh hell yeah i'm on that so i pre-ordered it <laughs> that's fair so you're not really much of a single player gamer nope. i don't See, that's... I, I don't i can't i get bored i can do it for like an hour and that's it like even when i played dauntless where you can team up with random people. I was just kind of like, all right, it's been 45 minutes. I'm good. I'm golden. Can we go? Can we go kill people now? Like, oh, kids I, these days. I hate fighting <laughs> against the computer. I don't know. Like, you're, it's, mm, it's what's really funny I like is PvP, like, you're not PVE. Yeah. Your mentality of like, oh, I get bored uh, playing single player, so I play competitive. I'm kind of the opposite. Okay. I get bored playing competitive all the time, and I'd rather play like a lot. single player story. I so. get adrenaline from killing kids and then bagging them. <laughs> <laughs> See, the real the real reason is that we're all garbage at competitive, so no. we, we just we just put it down and act like we're single player gamers. Like we're just like, yeah. I mean, that's no, we're we're, we're we're single player gamers. That's it. That's 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 the excuse. That's the real reason. But. <laughs> I think that's probably. No, I grew up with like a Sega Genesis, and then moved over to okay. a PS One and all that stuff. So I'm I'm starting to show my age a little bit, but competitively, I'm I'm trash. So I just stick with uh, I stick with my single player style. I like a good story in a game. So that's another reason I was nervous to do this episode because you're highly competitive and we are not. So we didn't know how we'd be able to Fine. handle that. Oh. But so that is are. that Each is all, man. Yeah, everybody for sure. likes a different flavor pie. It's okay. That, that, that's that's why I tune into your streams because it's a different side of gaming for me. Like I don't get the, I don't, you know what I mean. I'm not really up on the competitive scene, so I tune in as much as I can to check it out. Well, I'm glad <laughs> that you know I'm at least entertaining enough for you to watch me just kill people over and over and over again. Maybe die over and over. And over again. <laughs> on the day. What? Yeah, I think, I think what, at the end of the day, what sells the the player is basically their attitude and just the way that they, you know interact with the people you know if you're high energy and and just fun to be around with it doesn't matter if you're not that good at mpvp or you're a great pvp but it just adds a layer to it you know it's the mm -hmm. fact that you're good at it and the fact that you're fun and the fact that you're just funny as hell so <laughs> that works that just adds the whole package so i'm like yo lord um can i get some of that talent please <laughs> <laughs> I and I feel like I feel like most of my community um, hangs around in my streams because we're friends. Like I've developed friendships with these people. Um, I game with some of them, not all of them. Some of them really just come and watch because they're single parents or whatever, and they don't really have time to game, but they mm -hmm. still love it, you know. And they don't really necessarily care what I'm playing now. When I did my initial swap from straight Fortnite to um to variety with my pro esports gaming i my numbers went down like half like 50 wow. percent drop it was insane and it does um and i just kind of had to accept that which is also another reason now i turn off my viewers i don't know how many people are watching me live um if you want me to know that you're there you're gonna say hey if you just want to lurk and creep and whatever you're doing then <laughs> Go for it, man. Um, but I keep my viewer numbers off that way because I'm pr I'm a pretty I, like I'm tough. I feel like, but at the same time, I'm pretty sensitive. Like I'm a people pleaser, and if I feel like I I said something or did something or I'm not entertaining enough, and I see five people leave, I'm like, oh shit, what I do? No, come back, baby, come back. You know, <laughs> and and so I just turn it off so I don't pay attention to that because I'd rather be interacting with the people that are there and obviously want me to interact with them because they're talking to exactly. me and chatting and playing right. with me, you know, so. Again, the whole quality versus quantity <laughs> thing, you know? Like, you want to have the yeah. numbers, yeah, but you also want to have quality viewership that is just interacting I mean, with you and it's not absolutely. like being a creep, you know, like. Yeah, when I got sponsored, I was only averaging maybe like 10 viewers. 
Like, I didn't even have that many viewers. He just, he was like, I love the way you interact with chat. I love the way you interact with your community on social media. He's like, I, I just, I love the way you interact with people. Um, I want you to represent us. And that's how I landed the sponsorship. It's gotcha. just, he liked me. I don't, can't tell you anything else. He liked me. It's your southern, typical southern girl that has just good vibes. What can I tell you? You know? Yeah, there's good vibes. You can't go wrong with that, man. You said you were the first female they sponsored? Yes. That's, That's awesome. Crazy. That uh, that alone right there is a pretty big accomplishment, right? Like, especially, like, I don't want to say a male-dominated market, but it, it, it is for the most part. And uh, that kind of, like, leads me into, like, the next thing I kind of want to ask you. Like, we won't go super deep into it, but, like, the things that you have to deal with as a female streamer that, you know, a male may not have to deal with, like, probably doesn't have to deal with, like, the weird I shit you get sent to, like... Creeps sliding into the DMs? Yeah. Yes. Like okay. that. <laughs> oh, like yeah. the weird just, shit, just like... Because I'm sure it happens daily. all the time. Just, just right, you know what? Just, just, just so you guys can have a little peek into my world. Let's go through the DMs real quick. Oh, oh man. man. Requests. All right, this is Instagram, uh, by the way. In nomine Patria, Feliz Spiriti Santis. Help us, please. 17 requests. Okay. All right. This one. This one. This one. This one. It's a response... To, you know what, and I'll show you guys, but it's a response to a story, right? You know how to right. post mm -hmm. a story? Okay. It says, can you return back my heart? You stole it right now. Oh, Why? Why my would... God. Okay. All right. All right. No, but okay. <laughs> okay. okay. I don't, I've got, my biggest I've got, thing with stuff I've like that. I've got a better one. I've got a better oh, one. Jesus. I've got a better one. That's just I, a good pickup line. I got, oh, I got a better one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Lord Almighty. <laughs> all right, all right. This man, he said, he said, Ariel, question mark, question mark. And I'm going, shit, he knows my name. <laughs> so I respond, who are you? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, oh, I thought it had to have been you because we mermaid for each other. Oh, my God. <laughs> Died for five days. That guy's your husband now, right? Like, no, <laughs> please, no, 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 no. <laughs> See what no. happened with my husband? Funny story is I played the Beatles song "Here Comes the Sun" for him, and he was so sheltered as a child. He thought I wrote it. He was like, "I'm wiping her up." He oh, really yeah. did not know. He had never heard the song before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your husband. That's pretty right? awesome. Yeah, what do you like right? at it? We got like a local gig or something when you played it, and that's how you met no, him. Or we met, in, we met in college. I went to college at sixteen, um, so I was being driven around by a friend trying to introduce me to people, and we ended up at this random dude's house that was cooking some chicken crunch dinner and was gonna feed us. And I was like, "All right, I got my mandolin. I mean, I got my guitar. Let's go." And I show up, and we're eating, and I was like, "Oh, I'll just play. I'll play some music," and I played it, and he thought I wrote it, and legit was just in awe. So, what you're telling me is that you've basically got your man by playing a mandolin. Okay. Okay, fine. Leave it like that. Let's 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 leave it like that. Okay, okay, whatever. I don't... I don't Done. Done. I can't. I, I, I'm like, I, out of all the... Out of all the instruments, I'm at... Marlon is visibly upset right now, for those yeah. that hear this episode yeah. later. Yeah, you can't see him live. He's <laughs> Marlon's about to get himself a mandolin. He's like, yeah. even if I'm going to look like a little T-Rex, I'm going to play that game. <laughs> that is awesome. But, like, obviously, like, those hey, were... You the girls, bro. Come on. <laughs> nah, nah, those nah. were just, like, okay. weird, weird pickup lines I'm that okay. someone's trying to be clever. But, and obviously, yeah, yeah, okay. like... And then, and then there are the weird ones, you know, yeah. where it's like image protected or image <laughs> image covered for your protection. And I'm like, shit, I ain't opening that <laughs> because I've opened it one too many times. And it has been Dick very Dick. not what yes. I want to be. Yeah. Just male, not, not what I want. Male genitalia. Yes. Yes. It's yeah. a very hairy elephant. Let's leave it like that, okay? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
My favorite one was when someone asked me for a picture of my butthole. Legitimately, a picture of my butthole. <laughs> not my butt. Not me. Not anything that would maybe be like, okay, I can see where that's cool. Oh or God. maybe someone would want that. He wants oh a picture of just the butthole. Was like, there a I cash was, offer with so, this one? Or? Listen, listen, I was so tempted to Google butthole and send it to this man. Why didn't you? <laughs> because I didn't Cause... want I didn't want it to get screenshotted, like, of our conversation. Yeah. Hey, can I have your butthole? 50 bucks for your butthole. And a picture just of me sending a butthole. You can't tell if that's mine or not. Yeah, so I got well, 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 yeah. you, you could, you could, you could a picture of my butthole. So You'd be on like, CNN. Yeah, exactly, no. <laughs> it gets weird, man. It, it does. It you should have him a picture, a picture <laughs> of your dog's butthole. That would have worked. Ooh, that's good that would have worked. That would have worked. You say that, and that's exactly what Adam said. I should have done. <laughs> you should have done that. Like here you that go. That is mother. awesome. We have it's like. Weird. That's what I'm saying. Like it's like I've never had a butthole picture request. Like that's never been a thing that I've had my to worry feet, about. My feet. I get more requests for my feet than anything. No, I there are a lot of foot fetish people. There the really are. On God, Instagram. Man. Trying to slide into my DMs, asking me for pictures of my feet. Go away. <laughs> I guess that, out loud, man. Just, 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 just. that'll be when we know we've made it. When someone DMs us I'm and sorry. asks I'm to send sorry. a picture of our asshole. <laughs> so obviously yep, hit that's, like a yeah. sensitive. <laughs> it's like why, why, why were you? That's when, that's when, when you know. Swear to God, man. Like people are just disgustingly weird. Weird. Man. Weird. <laughs> weird. Oh my God. Like I can't, under- I can't understand. Like 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 it's, it's the thing because I. I'm a artist. I, I have a degree on painting and stuff like that. So, for me, the the body, it, the way that it looks, it's just beautiful. You know, it, it, the proportions of it. But I don't understand the whole feet thing. I I, I don't understand the whole. Th- it, it's it, <laughs> it's it. it's like why? What, what, People yeah, possibly yeah, yeah. stepping dog shit with like, those. What, why? why do you want to duck my toe? Why? Why? What? 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 No. Nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, no, no, I work out, right? Like I go to the gym, I run. You, come on, man. Come That's on, like man. the appeal to some people, though. That's like, come on, man. That is absolutely it is. disgusting. Okay, so this podcast turned into how we think foot fetish people. Are <laughs> yeah, this. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's gone so off the rails. Like, like the most times off already. the rails. I think we've. Yeah, yeah. it's a conversation. I think it's the most podcast. off the Let's rails like we've that. ever been. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. But it's. But this is the I'm thing, sorry, right? if you've been to any of my streams, you know this is how it's going to be, okay? <laughs> it's organic. Like, it's look, organic. I'm, yep. I'm ADHD AF, so I'm, I'm like, who's seen up? Who's seen up? Everybody's seen yep. up, right? Oh, yeah. you, know, yeah. you know the dog uh, squirrel? The squirrel, yeah. 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 100%. 100%. Yeah. But the, like, you know, I, will, kinda... I will be in the middle of answering a question from chat, and boop, another message will pop up. Oh, and I just, just mid sentence, maybe even mid word, just stop talking and go to answering the next question. It's like, what are you doing? Because I'll go back and I'll listen to my VODs and I'll be like, well, that was rude. <laughs> yeah. And that, like, it goes back to, like, the actual serious side of it, too. Like, I see it on Twitter all the time. That's the reason I wanted to ask you about it, because obviously you've got a bigger following. So it probably happens to you on a larger scale. But, like, I see, like, all these people we follow, like all these these women on there, they they post about it all the time. They they it gets weird. The shit gets weird that they have to deal with. So that's why I'm glad you talked about it a little bit on here. We were able to get through it on here. Yeah, it it even got to the point where I had to get a VPN, a double VPN, for not only my PC but also my phone because I was being harassed on one of my streaming sites and to the point where they were making like fake accounts and. They'd get banned. They make another fake account, and it wasn't like a regular fake account. It was like Jaded Mermaid the Whore and stuff. You know, like degrading names for just for no reason. It's some troll, but it literally happened for like four or five weeks consistently, five days a week for the entire two hours that I was live. It was Jesus. nuts. My poor mods. Thank God I have great mods because they did. They they kept them banned and stuff. And that was still a struggle to like look down and see someone say like kill yourself. You know, like what you don't do that to people regardless. No. You know, so it's and I actually <clears throat> reported it up the chain and got the company to put a ban list of words they can't go into anybody's chat now and tell some girl who may not have been bullied as as a high schooler like I was that has never been through anything, doesn't have any tough skin, right, is more 
Maybe they're even depressed. They can't go in there and say that crap to them now because I stood up for it. So I, I feel good about, you know, standing up for the fact that um, you can't do that shit. Right. You can't do that shit. Um, so it more bothered me on the fact that people were willing to. It's nuts to see the lengths people are willing to go to just to try to make someone uncomfortable or miserable even. It's insane. Right. It's it's insane. It's insane. And the more the bigger I, I get, the more I've come into that. I I got catfished. I thought it was a girl. It was became good friends with her. I don't I don't I'm picky with females. And you guess what? It turned out to be a guy. So Jesus. What yeah. the fuck? And like 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 this person is in the States and will be at TwitchCon as well, which I'm going to. So one reason my husband goes with me everywhere, he's like my personal bodyguard. He did Iron Man competitions. He'll 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 mess them up if they come at me, bro. Kill <laughs> you know? him. But, we need to have him on the show sometime too. <laughs> yeah, there you go. What but. it's like to be married to Jaden Murphy. That's gonna be the yeah, yeah, a good show. What it's like well, married yeah, to a very successful streamer who's very talented and has all the talent in the world. How does that make you feel uncomfortable at times? He's like, eh, I'm used to it. You know, she's cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Dude's a beast, though. From what she just said, though, so I'm sure he's yeah, fine. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. But uh, <laughs> god damn this fucking episode. Um, this was awesome for sure. Um, I know for a fact right now that a bunch of my people are wherever you are right now because my Discord is going nuts about our interview. Is it? <laughs> it's just like ping, 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 ping. We're probably talking shit. Like, I can't believe, down. I can't believe you did that show with those idiots. Idiots. It's like, <laughs> it's like, why does he have, like, freaking sunglasses in the middle of the night? It's like, so Oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good Talk question. Man out. Oh, Come that's on. great. Come on, just let him rock the Labor Day vibe <laughs> off, all right? Come on. Come I on. had no idea. He, right, you know what? No, oh, he was... had to get you back for messing with him about his flapjacks, though. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. It's yeah, okay, okay, true. Okay. I apologize, though, because I knew he was going through that hurricane. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Okay, how about the flapjacks? So I go to Publix. It's not okay, like a mental, supermarket. It's not like, so it's not like it's these. Here's the thing. I'm sorry, so I go man. To you're going through the hurricane. So I go to Publix. I go to Publix. I'm I'm looking for something to to make for for the breakfast. I'm like, you know what? This is buck for flatjacks and waffles. Let me get that. You know, I haven't had a good one in a while now. I go in there, start making them. And I'm like, these things are big. Okay, I haven't eaten. And we're we're talking like thick, like probably half an inch thick flatjacks. And I'm like, okay, this, this is gonna last me. If they're that big, if they're that, are that considered? Yeah, that's. That's thick. That's, <laughs> that's thick. So I'm like, oh, okay, thick. Th this is going to be a uh, very good breakfast for the next five days, <laughs> basically. Oh but so, before we end the show, I definitely want to I want to talk a little bit like you got your own merchandise now. You've got your own website. You've got your own trademarks, all that. There's, there's a ton of work goes into that. Like we've looked into trademarking our stuff. So it's expensive. Oh, I bet. Like. Oh my God! Like, do you sell? That's do you sell? where all my sponsorship stuff went to. Was, was setting up my my LLC, setting up my LLC, uh, doing trademarks through the state department, um, creating a website. <clears throat> the website is a, a monthly subscription, or you can purchase it by the year. I did I did yearly, so it saved me a little bit of money in the long run. Um, anything that you can do, like if you, if it's if like y'all are going for this. This is something y'all are planning on continuing to do. Like, if it gives you the option of, hey, buy the subscription for a year, do it because it saves you money overall, you know. And I'm 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 pretty careful about that too. But yeah, it costs a lot of money to get done what I've done. Um, and at the website, I actually designed and managed myself, and that I can accredit to a master's class that I took. It was like technology integration or something, and. Um, I went to, I went to, I got my master's in education. I went to school to teach and I've ended up using a lot of the classes for like my streaming and stuff. It's, it's kind of funny. Kind of funny. That's Very awesome. The, what, what, what grade did you teach or like what, what like level? I taught my first year teaching. I was only 21 because I graduated with my undergrad at 20 and went to my, went, started my master's at 21. And so I started teaching alongside in my master's program, and I taught seniors. And oh. I was at an alternative private school, and they were at least 18, if not 19 and 20. So I was literally like a year to a year and a half older than my students, and it was really weird. I bet it so was. So I went to teach 
Um, like I had to report so many things like, all right, this dude said this to me. I had nothing to do with it. He said it to me. I'm just letting you know. He told me he told me I look thick in the dress. I know that's not okay. So I'm reporting it. And I was like, all right, all right, I gotta go to middle school. I gotta go teach twelve year olds, man. I gotta I gotta teach and you know, honestly, the twelve year olds were kind of worse. <laughs> I can imagine that. Well, yeah. they're at that stage, right? Because they, like, oh, at that yeah. stage, they don't know any better. Quote no, mm, 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 mm. they say all types of things. Oh, oh for sure. Kids like, say the darndest things for sure. That's that's an honest. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, honest. That, that's an honest truth, right there. But I did love it. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely loved teaching. Um, for the reason I used to teach music, yeah. I've always enjoyed helping others learn. Um, so. I, I enjoyed the whole like reaching young minds aspect. I didn't necessarily like the whole like lesson plans and after work staff meetings and all this other stuff, but actually teaching the kids I loved. And it's what I will go back to eventually if this I plateau or whatever reason I've got my I've got my teaching license to fall back on. Um, and I totally would go back to teaching later in life. But right now, while I don't have kids, I have sponsors, I have the means to do it, I have the support to do it, I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it hard. Exactly. Absolutely. Very good. <clears throat> totally respect that. So real quick, uh, before, you, before, we, before we close out the episode, go ahead and plug all your, all your channels where everyone can find you. Obviously, the people that are going to listen to this already follow you probably everywhere. But if you, cool. if you, feel, feel free to plug all fish. your sponsors, everybody. Like. Do like NASCAR right? style. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm on Mixer and Twitch, forward slash Jaded Mermaid. YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Jaded Mermaid TTV. That's me on all platforms. Um, ProEsportsGaming.com. If you are a gamer, you really actually should check it out. Like, I'm not just saying that because they're my sponsor. They're freaking dope. Um, I, I use the site all the time. Um, if you play Fortnite... Come swing by stream sometime when we're doing the cash customs, win a little bit of money, and use the site. I know our sponsor, my sponsor, headhunts through the site as well if you are a streamer possibly looking for sponsorship in the future. So use the website. That's the biggest thing, using the website, proesportsgaming.com. And then I'm also recently partnered with Destined to Dominate. It's an awesome energy drink. Um, it's all B vitamins and like 150 milligrams of caffeine. I'm a pretty big health nut. I don't like a, a lot of this stuff that you don't know what the ingredients are. Yep. Um, so I really, really like Power On by Destiny to Dominate, and they are my new partnership. I've been I've been approached by multiple gaming drink, energy drink companies, and I've tried them. I've got them for free, and some of them tasted really good, but they either made me shaky because they had too much caffeine. Or there were, you know, ingredients like aspartame and stuff. That's like that's not good for you. Yeah. So um, that's pretty much that's pretty much it, though. I mean, I have a few other sponsorships that are through, or not sponsorships, partnerships that are through Twitch, like Pixels, um, Pixels Gaming, and then I'm partnered with Sub Streamers. Y'all know who that is? It's like a big streaming organization on Twitter. I've heard of that um, before. And they're pretty awesome. They help smaller streamers. And whatnot. So, yeah, the rest of everything's on my website, though, jadedmermaid.com. The sponsors have their nice little tab with all of the information, any discount codes that I might have, um, and all that good stuff. Merch is also on the website. Everything's on the website. Schedule, pictures, links, everything. Everything. Nice. We'll have to get, we'll have to get That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's all you need under the sea, especially here from Miami. Hey. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. That was bad. I know, that was good. Point. I like that. <laughs> it was yeah, our, I mean, mean, yeah, taking me it back to my. It wasn't worse than we were made for each other. So he. Okay, that's <laughs> also <laughs> true. You're not. You are not wrong there. But uh, but thank you uh, for being here. I had a blast. Yeah, yeah it was really good meeting Very... you guys. Y'all are super fun. Yep. Yeah. Late but... back. I like it. Just like, yeah. Well, thank you. Like we 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 enjoy any positive feedback we get. Yes, for sure. Appreciate it. But like I said, uh, I was nervous for this show, but it ended up being probably one of my favorite episodes. Yeah, totally definitely a fun time. Up with all the randomness that came out of my mouth and didn't even blink, man. You're a professional. <laughs> Here we go. There you go. We're professionals now. There you go. You heard it. You you heard it from her. So yep. <laughs> but again, thank you. Um, and then 
next uh we'll be back next week uh, i'm not sure what next week's show is going to be in store so you'll just have to kind of stay tuned and find out and we will see you here next week on the aeg show 